Do you want to become a better public speaker without ever leaving the comfort of your own home? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I am going to show you four ways you can practice public speaking on a regular basis without ever leaving your house. My first tip is to record yourself practicing your speech. And there's a few reasons you want to do this. First, when we hit that record button, all of a sudden there's some form of stakes. Something's on the line. We feel as though we have to perform to a certain level because we're recording ourselves. So it simulates that pressure situation. But the next thing is that you're going to learn things about yourself or maybe notice some tendencies that you have when speaking when you watch back that recording. On the verbal side, you may notice that you have filler words. Filler words are words or sounds such as a, uh, um, er, and so, but, like. They're essentially these words or sounds that we put in between sentences instead of silence, but they actually take away from our overall message. Therefore, the goal is to eliminate some of these filler words from our speech, and you may be using a filler word or sound that you're not even aware of. So when you watch back that recording and you see that you said, um, seven times, that's a good reminder for future practice sessions to try to eliminate that word from your future speeches. What you can also do is you can watch back the recording without the sound on. And by doing this, you're really going to focus on your body language. And I've talked about this many times before on my channel, but body language makes up a huge percentage of the way a message is communicated. And that's everything from our eyes to our facial gestures, to what we're doing with our hands, to how we're moving throughout the stage. And there may be tendencies that we have that we don't realize, such as leaning on a chair or swaying back and forth as we talk, or putting our hands in our pocket kind of awkwardly. And by watching back the recording of ourself, it's really going to help us to notice these tendencies and then improve that in the future. The second way you can practice public speaking from home is to switch up the environments or the rooms that you're practicing your speech in. This is something I personally do often because I like to give myself different visuals as I'm practicing my speech because the reality is for most presentations, we may not know what the room layout is going to look like or how the sunlight will be coming in the room or what the lighting will be like. And I find from home, from practicing in a few different rooms and trying to visualize to the best of my ability what the room setup might be like, it helps me in the fact that I am familiar with different environments. So when I get to the brand new environment where I'm giving my speech, I'm already prepared for this. Something you wanna do is try to replicate the situation of how you will be giving the speech. For example, if you're using slides and those slides are going to be coming from your laptop through an HDMI cord, often we can set up our laptop in front of us and it almost acts as a comfort monitor so we can see our slides by quickly looking down. And what's beneficial about this is we don't have to turn around and look back at our slides and turn the back to the audience. And if this is going to be the setup where you're giving a meeting or presentation, try to do the same thing. Bring your laptop to the different rooms with you and practice in presenting mode, having the slide up in front of you so you can really visualize as if the audience was there and then also look at your slides just like you will on the day of. And one of those rooms you're practicing in should have a mirror because from time to time, it's a good idea to practice your speech while looking in the mirror. And this is similar to the first tip of recording yourself on a phone by presenting and seeing yourself in the mirror you will become aware of some of the gestures or facial expressions that you're using in real time. And this is going to help you on the day of the speech. My third tip for practicing public speaking from home is to consider joining a Toastmasters club 
virtually. I talk a lot on this channel about the power and the benefit of Toastmasters International and the various clubs across the world. And I think a huge benefit of those clubs is the in-person meetings because there's something about presenting in person to a room full of people and having that that real life feel and in person. It's a pressure that doesn't totally exist virtually. So I think that that's the ultimate way to practice, but maybe that's not an option for you. Maybe your closest Toastmasters club is an hour drive away and you can't get there. It's, it's too much of a hassle to go to those meetings every single week and virtual attendance is your only option. And I will say this is a great secondary option because you can still practice presenting in a virtual form. You can look at the camera to practice eye contact and you get all of the other benefits of Toastmasters, which includes real time evaluations People who want to help you become a better public speaker will listen to your speech and give you feedback. And being part of that community can truly help. And the best part is some clubs who offer virtual attendance means you can practice without leaving the comfort of your home. My final tip for practicing public speaking from home is an app that I have talked about a few times before on my channel, and this is an app called Speako. And to date, it is probably the best public speaking tool I have come across. It is an app that helps you practice presentations, practice meetings, practice interviews, and even something called Random Prompt, which for those who are familiar with Toastmasters, Toastmasters has table topics questions, which are random questions that you're asked, and Random Prompt through the Speako app allows you to do a similar thing. It will ask you a question and you have two minutes to respond. If you don't have access or perhaps you can't afford the Toastmasters Club, there are free versions of this Speako app. They are on iPhone. I believe they're working to bring the app to Android as well. But this is something that's going to help you learn about your pacing, your word choice. We talked about filler words earlier. It will identify filler words you use often throughout your speech, your eloquence, all of the sorts of things that we want to know and we want to get feedback on. This app, which utilizes AI technology, is able to give you that feedback. And if you have the means and you're interested in doing the pro version of Speako, which is the version I'm personally on, I do have a link in my episode description that is going to give you about a 15% discount to the pro version of the app. But again, there are many tools that don't cost you money, but if there's, this is something you really want to take to the next level, consider getting the Speako Pro version. Being a confident speaker is all about consistent practice. And whether that practice is in person at a Toastmasters meeting, through giving many presentations, or even practicing from the comfort of your home, which is some of the things we talked about today, the key is that you practice. And I hope that these tips will help you practice easier from your own house. What was your favorite tip? Let me know in the comments. If this video was helpful for you, hit that thumbs up so more people can discover this video as well. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so because it is my goal to help you with your communication skills and to grow confidence from the stage. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.